I'm Cat with a K and this is Two Cats in a Movie. As you can see, Cat with a C is not here with us. <laughs> but it's okay, she's on a grand adventure and should be back with us soon. While she's away, I thought it would be a good time to take a look back at all the movie reviews we've done this year so far. So let's get started. This is your one minute review of Spider-Man No Way Home. So we enjoy Spider-Man movies, but this one was only a little amazing. Rather than having a plot line that could stand on its own, it felt more like filler to get us to the next Doctor Strange movie. But we really enjoyed the closure of Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield's storylines, and it was encouraging to see Tom Holland's Spider-Boy grow into a Spider-Man. So we give Spider-Man No Way Home three out of five paws. This is your one minute review of Sing 2. We were absolutely devastated to have to wait an extra year to see this film. But it was so worth the wait. We rejoin our cast of favorites as we get to know them better and they sing and dance their way to new characters, including a music legend. They reach new heights of hilarity and sincerity with another marvelous soundtrack. This instant family favorite gets five out of five paws. And this is your one minute review of Scream! <laughs> This is a requel with gobs of familiar faces and a brilliant twist for our main character. The homages to the original Scream were inspired. The only reason this is getting four instead of five paws is a pet peeve. I really dislike how all movies nowadays must make some kind of political statement. And in this one, it's uber feminism. There are legit reasons why the cast is predominantly female. I don't have a problem with that. But there are a couple of fathers that are not even an idea. And the new male characters are portrayed as weak. So Scream gets only four out of five paws. And this is your one minute review of Hotel Transylvania 4 Transformania. We absolutely adore this franchise. However, my heart sunk to the bottom of my feet watching this new one. Instead of giving us a new and mature storyline, they regressed the characters all the way back to the first film storyline to give us something absolutely horrible. The only cool thing about this movie is the transformation of the characters. So this movie, Hotel Transylvania 4, gets a whopping two out of five paws. And this is your one minute review of the Ice Age Adventures of Buck Wild. Warning, warning, danger, Will Robinson. Under no circumstances are you to watch this atrocity. Blue Sky should be greatly offended that Disney has taken their beloved characters and violated and even eliminated them. Peaches has ceased to exist, as has her husband. So has Diego's girlfriend. So has Sid's girlfriend. So has the three cute, adorable baby T-Rexes. It's terrible. They have mutilated Crash and Eddie to be stupid idiots. They were never stupid. They were just reckless. It's awful. It gets no pause. And don't watch it. And this is your one minute review of Moonfall, the best Roland Emmerich film so far. We laughed. <laughs> we cried. We gripped each other with terror. It was intense, man. But it was perfectly paced so as not to give you a heart attack. And the cast was absolutely perfect. No one, not a single person could be recast. It was brilliant. So therefore we give Moonfall five out of five paws. We'd give it 10, but then we'd have to get another cat. <laughs> and this is your one minute review of Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries haunted by murder. <gasps> Best Aurora yet. They keep upping their game in the script department and we love it. Plus, this one had ghosts. Ooh.
<laughs> the actors, as always, did a superb job, especially Dylan Sloan, who plays Aurora's cousin, Philip. We expect big things from him. So we give Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries, Haunted by Murder, five out of five paws. And this is your one minute review of Uncharted. Research is key to any great review expedition. So, we research the game that this movie is based on. While they pay homage to the game, they also pay homage to other classic treasure hunt films. And the script they wrote for this film is a unique Nathan Drake story. And oh, the cameo. <laughs> The cameo we weren't expecting, pay attention, and Tom and Mark just happened to have the best banter ever. Woo! So we give Uncharted five out of five paws. And this is your one minute review of the Batman. So nobody else prefaced this, we're going to. This is an origin story of how a vigilante becomes a hero. Matt Reeves, who also directs, and Peter Craig wrote a script that pays homage to Batmans of the past while also making this Batman story relevant for what's going on in America today. The message of their script is, if you look at a few bad, greedy people and then paint all the other people like them with that brush, you are looking at the corner of a picture instead of the whole picture. So the cast, did a phenomenal job. We particularly liked Colin Farrell and Robert Pattinson's performances. And this is your one minute review of Turning Red. As you can see, I sympathize with Maylee's plight, but I digress. This is a coming of age movie for preteen teenage girls. It was hilarious. <laughs> For anyone who was a teenager in the early 2000s, it's full of nostalgia. Ah, oh, in sync. I mean, the music was in sync, catchy and fun. You never not on my mind. Oh my, oh my. I'm never not by your side. Your side, your side. Da 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 da. Oh right, yeah. So. <laughs> Something we didn't like was when Mei Li caps an attitude with her mama that is very disrespectful and says things like, my panda, my choice, which was just a little too woke and there's a little bit more woke nonsense in it we just did not care for. But overall, it was a touching story about the importance and challenges of family and friends. So we give Pixar's Turning Red four out of five pops. Yeah, and this is your one minute review of Marry Me, won't you? There's nothing we hate more than a great story being ruined by toxic feminism. Wimpy, complacent guys, women who are rescuing them. Then we've got Jen's character, Kat, who says, yes, I'm successful, but did you know I've never been nominated for anything? The scriptwriters were trying to commentate that female artists are not as recognized as male artists in the industry. Let's take a moment and examine the evidence of this. Taylor Swift, 168 nominations, 97 wins. Beyonce, woo woo woo, 256 nominations and 125 wins. What? And then now let's look at the
the singer who said this line in the movie, Jennifer Lopez. 177 nominations and 67 wins. Clearly, the statement they were trying to make and force down your throats is a complete lie. But to come down off my soapbox a little bit, we did like the song On My Way and the wardrobe was to die for. Whew. Amazing. And we also enjoyed Owen Wilson and John Bradley's acting in the movie, particularly John's looking good, man. <laughs> and so we give Marry Me two out of five paws. And this is your one minute review of Cop Shop. Three, two, one, draw. So something we loved, Gerard Butler. He was an excellent hired killer. We did enjoy the good story and catchy one-liners like, I'm not a psychopath, I'm a professional. But this good story was buried, completely buried in an unnecessary excess of profanity. Someone lied to Kurt McLeod and Joe Carnahan that action scripts must be 75% bad words. Now, we did have a little bit of a problem with the fact that all the male cops were idiots and only the female cop was the smart one. But Officer Young's character was well written and fallible, so we shall be gracious. And Alexis Slaughter did an excellent job in this role. We also liked Toby Huss and Frank Grillo's performances and the cinematography and soundtrack were perfectly timed. So we give Cop Shop three out of five paws. And you'll have to bear with me today. I'm on an airship. So it's Throwback Thursday and we've got a gem for you. The 1960 feature film, Master of the World. And it's got an incredible cast. We have Vincent Price, Henry Hull, Mary Webster, and two dashing gentlemen with Charles Bronson and David Frankham. Hi, Pat. So, oh, oh, okay. Um, they they all take to the skies on a colorful, exciting, and dangerous adventure. Uh, despite them having a low budget. It was a brilliant script and the acting was phenomenal and they have one of the best comic reliefs ever. <laughs> so we give Master of the World five out of five paws. And this is your one minute review of The Lost City. Now Channing Tatum and Sandra Bullock are not two actors that we would pair together, but they made a great couple. And the script writers paid such great homage to the movies that came before, like Romancing the Stone and Indiana Jones, but still gave us a fun and exciting script. However, we did not care for the disgusting sexual innuendo, Ugh. though it was fitting since she's a romance novelist. Now, Daniel Radcliffe is the best spoiled evil rich guy ever. Keep playing these parts, Daniel. Now we laughed about 75% of the time and 25% of it had to be at Daniel Radcliffe and his jokes. It was just, it was bloody brilliant. So we gave The Lost City four out of five paws. But would you look at the time? That's all we have time for today. So check back next month to see the rest of the reviews we've done so far this year. Let it me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share, 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 share. And until next time, keep searching for that perfect pick.